hello guys welcome to Xavier's kitchen today I'm going to be showing us how to make upper so I'll quickly show you the ingredients I'll be using to make upper so I have my bambra nuts already grinded and sieved I have my palm oil all the way from Udi in Enugu state I have my pepper my salt my banana leaf and pulling it in for tying them so these are the very simple ingredients i use in making my oba and it always come out superb so sit back while i swing into action so the first thing you do is to make a hole in your bambra knot that's your oba and then you add your pepper so if you want it to be pepperish you add more pepper if you want it to be mild you add in accordance to how you want it then you add your oil so the quantity the the quality of your bar actually depends upon two factors uh, uh, the quality of the oil you are using and the quantity of the oil and also the type of oba you are using maybe I'll make a video showing you guys the different type of oba and the one that is best for making good oba so I'll add oil and then I'll add lukewarm water that's what I'll use to turn it because uh, if if you use cold water to turn it you see that there's going to be a segregation between your upper and the oil and you don't want it to be that way you want it to have a single plain color so i'm going to use lukewarm water to i'll add it and then i will now turn i will continue turning it until it forms uh a paste So this is what I have. You don't want it to 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 not be smooth. So you notice that it will have some moles, moles in them. So you need to keep on turning it until it has none in them. So after you're sure there's no more lumps in them. So what you do is you add water. So if you are not okay with the color of the color you're going to get, you can still add more oil. But at this junction, the oil is enough for it. So what I'm going to do is to add more water. And then I'll keep on stirring for it to mix. Don't mind me, I'm the only person making the video and uh, making the other at the same time. So I'm supposed to use a spatula or my hand. Since it's not giving me what I want, I'm going to switch to... So you keep on adding water until you get this texture. And you stir very well to ensure that there are no lumps in them. So after that you just add your salt and then your bar is ready for tying and polyethylene. But by this time you ensure that your you set your hot water on fire already because oba is always good as soon as you are tying them, don't keep them as you are tying it, you are placing it inside hot water. So what I'm just going to do now is to add salt add salt to taste okay I think it's good now so if the if the salt's not enough you can add more or oh, has this natural flavor so you don't need to bug yourself with Maggi and the rest of them
so since the oba is already tasty i'm just going to start scooping it into the banana leaf Then I'll tie. So I can scoop again. To place my oba and allow it to cook. So, so the oba has been cooking for almost 35 minutes now. So, uh, the cooking time actually depends upon the quantity of heat you set on it. But as you can see, the oba is already done. So. What I'll do is to remove one, cut it into two, and see if it is cooked inside. Once it's cooked inside, I know that we are all set. So, the oba is ready. As you can see. So make sure you try it at home. Thank you very much.